Hello everyone, welcome to another video on something a little bit different. Now, there's nothing more infuriating than getting a penalty in sim racing when you cut the track. But it's more infuriating on iRacing because you've got to serve it within a certain time period. And if you don't, that slowdown just seems to go up and up and up. So what's the best method for serving a slowdown? So I've done a couple of tests today and I actually didn't know the answer. So I've taken two tracks where slowdowns are quite frequent. Firstly, we've got Monza, turn one. And there you get the slowdown when your vehicle speed is relatively low. And I've chosen Spa, Radion, completely different. You're absolutely flying. So what's the best method for getting rid of it? Do you get rid of the slowdown as quick as you can? Or do you hang on until the timer is about to run out? Well, in this video, we're going to find out. So for the custom sector, I've actually set it quite a way down the track, both at Monza and at Spa, to simulate how you would get rid of a slowdown in a real life situation. I've practiced that custom sector numerous times to make sure that I had a really good benchmark on both Monza and Spa. And I was within half a tenth, a tenth every single time. So the difference in time is all to do with the slowdown. But before we get into it, if you find this video useful or informative or enjoyable, please remember, click on the like button. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. So enough talking, let's head to Monza. So we've got a good baseline here for this custom sector, 52.296. Now, I probably could go a little bit quicker than that if I tried hard enough, but I'm within half a tenth every single time so i know that my line isn't going to be the issue here it's only going to be the slowdown so i'm going to get a slowdown on the first part of the chicane and firstly i will try and get rid of the slowdown as quickly as i possibly can right so foot on the gas we'll release this and try and get a slowdown there we go we'll get rid of this as quick as we can and we'll accelerate that's it gone so that was a 1.2 second slowdown. And already we're two and a half seconds down on the delta. Because we didn't time it right. But it'll give us a good idea of where we are. So here we go then, is the end of the sector, 52.296, 55.306, that's three seconds we lost, a 1.2 second slowdown, but we actually lost three seconds. We'll try that again, and we'll try and not let the time bleed off as quickly before we get on the gas. And we'll get the slowdown again. Should be 1.2 seconds. There we go. And now we'll go. A little bit quicker on the gas there. It's all about timing it. So now we've, yeah, so eight tenths quicker than the last lap. So 55.306 on the last one. 54.2. So 1.1 seconds quicker just by getting on the gas a little bit sooner. So we'll try and bleed off the speed as we approach the second chicane, which a lot of people do. So getting the slowdown every time is the issue. You don't get them when you want them. So there we go, 1.2 seconds. So we'll accelerate as normal, which a lot of people do. So that slowdown's increasing now. So we're thinking, oh dear, we've got to slow down. So I'll get off the racing line. We'll try and get that slow down off before we hit the second chicane. There we go, it's off. But of course that messes you up for the second chicane then. So 54.253 on the last one. 54.253. So 
So two tenths difference. So now we'll try and serve the slow down as late as we possibly can, which again, I see a lot of people doing. So let's see how that one pans out. There's a slow down, so we'll just get the foot down. So we're a tenth down, just off uh, my inconsistency through that chicane, but we were over the curb. But it's not going to be a million miles off at this point from a normal lap. We're going to have to get rid of this slowdown now. Rapido like. So that wasn't efficient at all. So that 1.2 second slowdown has turned into around right about seven seconds off our previous best. Let's try that again and just bleed it off a little bit earlier. Maybe go up to the first Lesmore. Right, let's get rid of this. But again, all our speed's gone then for Lesmo 1. So that 1.2 second slowdown has turned into 3 seconds almost. 2.8 seconds. So we'll try it one final time getting rid of the slowdown as quick as we can and we'll try and judge it about right we'll get the slowdown first of all there it is so a 0.7 seconds till we start accelerating there we go that's not bad a second and a half down from a 1.2 1.3 second slowdown that's not bad. That's not bad. At 1.2, 1.3 seconds, and we've lost 1.8. So 54.096, 1.8 seconds slower, dead on, from our best lap with a 1.2, 1.3 seconds slow down on the first chicane. So same as last time, we'll try and get rid of the slow down as quickly as we can first. But that means that we're going to actually have to slow down to get rid of the slowdown. So, here we go. A bit easier to get a slowdown at Radion than it is turn one at Monza. Because you basically just drive straight on and skip that wall. There we go, 1.6 seconds. So again, we could have timed that a lot better. 1.6 seconds. And we're four seconds down on the delta. Probably five over five by the time we get up here. So one minute point five seven six. One minute five point six. So we had to slow down. So that's obviously not the best way slowing right down. We'll try that again. This time we won't slow down as much. So one minute five point six five four. So we won't slow down as much this time. Maybe get on the gas when it hits about a second left on the slowdown. See if that would clear it. So we'll go straight on. 
So it was one minute six, wasn't it? So we'll ease off. So a second left and we'll get back on the gas. There we go, it's gone. Much better on the Delta. But of course then that messes with your braking marker for that right hander there. So one minute five point six five four. One minute three point six. Much, much better. Much, much better. But again, we could probably time that a lot better and get that number down right. So now we'll do what we see a lot of people do is just bleeding off the slowdown until you get to the right left. I can't remember what that complex is called now, but we'll try that. Let's see what kind of effect that has on the Delta. So it was about 1.5, 1.6 seconds slow down. I think it's 1.5 going up to 1.6, isn't it? Then 1.5, 1.6. So we'll get around here, then we'll just bleed off. Try and keep momentum though. Try and time it just right. There we go. But again, it messes you up for this turn. You don't kind of regroup until you get to this point. So 1 minute 3.6. 1 minute 3.4. So a little bit better there. So how about if we hang on as long as we possibly can before the timer runs out? Let's try that. We're straight across. We're just going to keep our foot in it. So we've got 30 seconds to serve the slowdown. We'll keep an eye on the timer. We're going to have to think about getting rid of it now. You've basically got to stop. There we go. Can't get closer than that. And now we've lost four and a half seconds. Yeah. One minute, 5.1. For a 1.6 second slowdown... That has cost us 4.6 seconds. So I'll try the first technique again. I'll try and get rid of the slowdown as quickly as I can, but I'll try and time it a little bit better. I think we can do much better than we did on the first run. So 1 minute 5.1, I think it was, when we let the slowdown run out right at the end of the timer. Let's get rid of this. It's not going yet, though. It's going back up, is it? No, it's coming down. That's all right. Good. I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. So there we go. That's a few different methods of getting rid of the slowdown tested now depending on what slowdown you get depends on how you should get rid of it turn one at monza the vehicle speed is relatively slow so there's nothing wrong with getting rid of the slowdown quickly then get on the gas and then you're actually in tune with where you need to be braking for the second chicane if you bleed off the slowdown slowly well you'll be a little bit unsure where you need to brake for the second chicane that's going to compromise your speed through that section tracks like spa where the vehicle speed is much higher when you get the slowdown. Well, 
you don't want to be getting on the brakes and getting rid of that timer really quickly because you've just then got to build up that speed again all the way down the Kemmel straight. My advice at Spa, Radion, that type of slowdown, is just to get off the racing line and bleed off the speed as quickly as you can, but without losing too much vehicle speed. But there's no way around it there. Your line into that right left at the end of the Kemmel straight is going to be compromised because your braking mark is going to be way different than it normally would be. But on both scenarios, never ever let the timer run all the way to the end. As you saw in this video, that 1.3 second slowdown at Monza turned into, I can't remember how much it was now, six seconds, seven seconds, same at Spa, that 1.6 second slowdown turned into about five seconds. So my advice is get rid of the slowdown as quickly and safely as you possibly can. Hopefully this helps and gives you some idea on the best way to get rid of the slowdown. This could actually be one of the things I actually practice moving forwards because those seconds that you lose during the slowdown if you serve incorrectly could well lose you numerous positions. So if you did like the video, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this kind of tosh, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.